welcome everybody. Welcome to the Judy Roxy Show. <laughs> and today's topic is trends, and that's why you're all here. Now, trend, trends can be fun, they can be daring, they can make you part of a group because we all like to be part of a trend, but there are so many trends. So how do you pick apart the trend that works for you? And where do they come from? They come from the stimulus around you. They come from the media. They come from the TV and the radio. I'm sure if, and if some of you are the age, I won't mention mine, that, that you will remember we went through the Dr. Kill Deer Nero, uh, Nero sh shirt uh, trend. Nodding here. We went through <laughs> the um, Pat Boone white buck shoe trend. And we all had to wear mini skirts when we were watching Rowan and Lappin, Rowan and Martin Lappin. Now Dave told me something this morning that freaked me out because he said to me, Judy, I've heard your speech three times, who's Dr. Kildare? <laughs> and I'm going, this, this terrifies me. <laughs> when it comes to trends in decorating, they can also paralyze us because we're so inundated with so many different trends and therefore we go, well, I'm not really sure. I just want to wait till the next trend comes out. So maybe I just won't do anything. Don't let that paralyze you. Um, don't let it be an excuse not to do anything. Some designers I have seen are very hooked into trend forecasting. They feel they have to come up with something for the next trend, and they have to make their customer feel they're into the next trend. I don't believe in that. I believe you have to be comfortable with the trend. It's a trend that may stay for a while and you have to feel like you belong to it. <coughs> talk to your clients, talk to your designer, let her know how you feel and don't feel you're being forced into something you don't want to do. We are going to cover four topics today. First one is color and pattern. Second is texture. Third is design. And fourth is motorization. Color, and those of you who are here before know, I think this is the most critical part of trends today. For so many years, I have heard the word, well, I just wanted to be neutral. I want to go beige. I have seen people actually terrified of color. If I even introduce a sage green, they break out in a sweat. Mm -hmm. It is because we, some people just grown up with that safety net, but we don't have to do that. Color is everything. And, um, it is, you're going to see, as we're going to show you in a moment, all the books today are trending toward color. You'll see it in the magazines, you'll see it in the showrooms. Color is everything. And it's not just red, blue, green. It's strong colors, like orange and sunny yellow and lime green and fuchsia and water blue and, and violet and grayish. These are the colors. And you're going to see as we're going to show you, that the books coming out today are really, really showcasing all these wonderful colors. So, and um, in here you have oranges and colors mixed together, so you can see the... You can see how, and I'll pass some of these around, how color is so important today. And you can use them alone as a great color, an orange, or you can mix it with the purple, as you're going to see in some of the examples that we have done. Prazza has also brought back Oscar de Lorenzo. Remember the glamour, the beauty? Well, it's back, and it's back redone. And you're going to see how you can mix glamour, texture, and timeless fashion in these gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. They're spectacular. You saw them in the dresses, in the movies. Now you're going to see them on furniture. Trying to divide it up equally, girls. Now, the hottest arena in trends, designs, comes in four categories that we're going to touch on today. One is Americana. First, most in our minds is buying American-made products. That's where we're all here to go. But the man of the year, many years, who has defined and redefined Americana is 
be Ralph Lauren. And you'll see, like Scott Shape, you will say, oh, that's a very Ralph Lauren look because his name stands for his product. His strengths is blues and whites, with hints of reds and yellows, but very comfortable, very vibrant colors. I want to show you a job that I'm working on now. A gal came to me and is doing a shore home. But she wanted That's the latest trends in peacocks, which we'll talk about in a minute, but she wanted that relaxing seashore effect. There is so much out there now that it was so much fun to work on this project. Did you leave any blue in my fabric? Yes, I left plenty. But here is <laughs> what we did is, and you're going to see, we incorporated all these different fabrics the blues and the whites, that would grow. the carpet with the <clears throat> border. This is your Ralph Lauren major color. These are Ralph Lauren blues and whites. And then we tied them together. We took the ecot, we welted it, and then we put the Ralph Lauren fabric. So every border of the sofa is going to have this effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's going to lay on this rug with this fabric, with his wonderful yachting fabric. And these are pillows? Okay. Pillows, boardwalk pillows. And this is another room that I'm doing for a young man where we're taking the fabric, again, the blue and white, we're upholstering the walls. See how these walls are upholstered? We're actually upholstering, oh, come on. upholstering the walls in this wonderful fabric. Part of his as well. And this is part of his as well. So you can see this whole thing. It's both in youth and in the home. There's no end to these wonderful fabrics. So we had a ball with this. And uh, you're going to see that many things, I'm going to point out this in a moment, but this Ralph Lauren thing comes, comes across in many different <coughs> arenas. Okay, next arena is Moroccan. Uh -huh. This is an influence that's become very popular trend-wise, both in fabrics, lighting, and furniture. This is Fine Arts Lamp, one of the finest light companies out of Florida. And you can see they have an entire group of all the different colored glass, nail heads, Moroccan shapes, or swain. They're vibrant colors, and they bring us back to a world far away, very romantic. Oh, okay. I wanted to point out that if you don't want to do the whole room Moroccan, you can just do some accessorizing, change it off when you're tired of it, and it's not a major investment. Some frames, some throws, pillows, and I brought a couple of these other accessories up here that, again, you could put away when you're tired of it, bring it back out, and you have that feel. And this is... Now, one of the <laughs> fabrics that's oh, become oh. part of this whole look is the ecot. I don't know, if anybody familiar with ecots here? Thank you. Okay, well, the ecot is sort of a batik look and is part of this whole feel. It's become so popular and trending that Krabbit has just come out with a book of just ecots. So you'll see them every place. That's all ecot. So we can tie that into almost anything being 70s, it's really modern, but. It is a great, great look. Now, it's kind of very tribal in feeling. We're going to go to the next category, which is the 70s look, of which David also has no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it transforms us back to our past, a really happy Judy Jetson kind of a lifestyle. Um, If anybody remembers Mary Quant, Mary Quant makeup, the Gucci patterns, Austin Powers, that you remember, right? You got that. that was cool sense. Baby, <laughs> Paisley's, and the Shag Carpet. <laughs> now, I know you shudder, but Shag is hotter than hot. <laughs> shag comes in every color. It comes in a very wormy texture. It comes like this. Yes, Shag is back in a strong way. It's a trend that has come back and literally has grown. It stayed with us. It's not going away, so deal with it. <laughs> okay. The last category under color 
is, and patterns, is the Zen look. That's, if you like or seeking that smoother, calmer, um, soothing lifestyle style, this is for you. It's going to mean more natural elements. It's going to mean bring outdoors indoors. And by the way, outdoors is a huge category in trends. I'll just go off for one second. Today people are moving outdoors on the nice months. They're having kitchens made up with entire uh, entertainment centers, music, ovens, serving areas, wonderful stones, ponds, waterfalls. It's all in that zen sand, quiet feeling. But a lot of it can come indoors as well. <clears throat> so when the winter comes, you're going to, you have that move, so you have something like the grass, moves into grass cloth. <coughs> and stones today, every stone imagine, forget about just granite, we have limestone, we have um, uh, concrete, we have slate, we have something called reclaimed woods, which have become very popular. They're woods, original woods. They make furniture in a very earthy look. And we have examples of that throughout the store. We use them in our kitchens now. We use them in our fireplace around. We use them on our floors. And we mix them with woods. And they're sometimes wonderful woods. It's not just oak anymore or, or pine or any of the woods cherry that you're used to. Today, they're exotic woods. They're zebra woods. They have grains that you can feel and you can touch. And that actually become part of the beauty. We've moved away somewhat from the dark, dark woods. Not that we're ever going back to the bleach woods. We're not going there anymore. But we have the natural gray Gustavian and Belgium woods that create a rustic elegance. So you can almost mix that look with the Ralph Lauren look. Now, yeah, I have samples of the, over. Yeah. Uh, crossover is tremendous, and I have samples of these new woods. You're starting to see them. There are new trends, a little less formal, and I think that's the, the part of this whole trend now is less formality, more natural. But do you see them? They're so beautiful, almost like they came drifted up yeah, from the sea. they have city. a history. If you want their little... They create this rustic elegance, and I think they're going to be around for a while now. They're great. So, outdoor rugs, going back to the outdoor thing, we now have rugs, and you can see them that literally can be outside all summer. But outside can also come inside, and that's true with indoor-outdoor fabric. Many of us always thought indoor-outdoor fabric was for our outdoor uh, furniture. Today, we can grown so tremendously that so much of the outdoor fabric is being brought in. Of course, we have a lot of glass, we have a lot of windows, we worry about fading. Well, that's why indoor-outdoor is, is just as home indoor as it is outdoor. And we have a whole room full of those fabrics. Okay. Texture is something that's going to cope, overlap all these categories. Texture has become the in words this century. It is the trend. We are getting away from chenilles and everything is textured, linen, embroidered. And we have a plethora of books that have come through with textures. Um, I, I want to show you. I brought out, oh, those two, those three. They are so wonderful, these textures, because they can be shears, they can be on upholstery, they can incorporate in your furniture. 